Right. So last fall, I went to Sardinia with a group of my friends and I had gone there. I'd wanted to go there for a while because I always try to discover someplace new every time I go to Europe. I generally go twice a year. I do the same tours usually, the My Way Italy tour, the My Way Spain tour, but I always try to fit something new into it. So I spent about two weeks on Sardinia with some friends and I did not get to see all of the island by any means. I didn't go to any of the kind of lackluster sites. So up in the northeast, you have the Costa Smeraldo. Smeralda, that's one of the famous parts where a lot of rich and famous people go for vacation. Um, and then down south, you have the, the largest city, Cagliari, um, and also Olvia. I didn't go to any of those places. I drove through them. Um, I flew out of Cagliari, but I went to smaller towns that um, other friends of mine had been to and had recommended. So I started at Alguero. And one of the kind of challenging things for me in planning this trip was how do I get to Sardinia? Because it's an island. It's not like Sicily is an island, but it's connected to the mainland. You can take a short ferry ride and even the train goes on the ferry. Sardinia, there are boat connections that go from several locations. Like Cagliari, you can take an overnight boat to um, Rome or actually to Palermo in Sicily. In the north, from near Olvia, you can take an overnight ferry to Rome. Um, there's there are major airports in Cagliari, Alghero, and Olvia. So you can fly from various places in Italy as well as different European hubs. So for me, I flew from London. I flew from Seattle to London, spent a night in London, and then flew from one of the London secondary airports to Alghero. And then I spent four nights in several of these towns. So starting with Alghero, spent four nights there. And this was a nice city. It was a kind of a interesting mix of, it reminded me a lot of Spain. It used to be a Catalan port city. So a lot of the buildings and architecture looked kind of reminded me of Catalonia. Had a really nice old town with narrow streets, all encircled by a medieval wall. Um, very nice marine beaches. A lot of people might have heard of Alguero if you've seen um, any of the um, um, I don't know, he was named now the travel right the travel um, he has a travel mm. show now um, an actor. Mm. Uh, Stanley Tucci. Stanley Tucci. Uh, yes, thanks, thanks, Golly. Um, anyway, he went to this restaurant on his, um, one of his shows, and some friends of mine that I traveled with wanted to go here. You had to make reservations ahead. Um, they ha don't have a set menu. So you go in, and or they have a set menu. You don't get to choose the menu. They basically, for 50 euros, it was, I think, an eight-course meal, all seafood. I'm not a big seafood fan myself, but this was probably one of the best meals I ever had. Yeah. And this was um, tuna, fresh tuna, um, served with oranges and um, this just delicious sauce. It was amazing. But it was a whole huge meal. All the wine you could drink. It was not a place you could just walk in. Um, from Alguero, there's several really nice day trips. Uh, we took a boat from Alguero up to Neptune's Cave, which I've been to a lot of caves in Europe and holes in the ground. I thought this one was pretty impressive. This the boat ride up the coast. The coast line of of Sardinia is amazing. Just these cliffs that come right down to the sea. And then the boat docks right into the entrance of the cave. And then inside there are these paths and it's all well lit. Very nice, impressive cave system. And a beautiful boat ride from Alguero, maybe half an hour north on the boat. Mm -hmm. um, another day trip I did was to the town of Bosa, which is south of Alguero. It was voted one of the most picturesque towns in Italy. Um, it has the castle up on the hilltop. And from the, the castle is really just a castle shell, so there's not a lot to it. But the views from there are amazing. Well, we're looking the old town and the countryside around here sprinkled with olive trees, very dry. Um, and then from there, I headed north to this group of islands called La Madalena. And you can take a ferry from the town of Palau. Um, there's two little ferries that go to the main city of Madalena. Several of the other islands are national parks. You can't really get there except by private boat. But um, this island was a really nice little kind of vacation spot. Um, not a lot to do. The, took a regular car ferry over. Didn't need to buy the tickets ahead. They go pretty regularly. Um, and then docks in the main town of Madalena. You can walk everywhere within Madalena. And I had a rental car. You really do need a rental car, I think, on Sardinia. There is a train system that connects Cagliari in the south up to um, Olvia in the north, but it doesn't run very often. It's not very practical. The bus system is also um, not as extensive as it is in other parts of Italy. So, for instance, when I went to Bosa, the bus 
going in the morning wasn't bad, but in the afternoon, there was a huge line up and we had to stand on the bus. <laughs> um, but driving around La Madalena with a car, you get to explore these little hidden beaches and coves, really nice swimming spots, and it has this really interesting rocky landscape. Looks very surreal. Um, from there, I headed down the east coast to uh, Calagonone, and this area, this little town was quite nice. Some really beautiful beaches. Um, this was the view from my hotel overlooking the town mm -hmm. beach, really nice swimming beach. And then right in the main marina town, all these little houses here were renting boats or doing boat tours. So I was with uh, some friends. One of my friends was a captain of a boat, so we rented this boat. He knew how to drive the boat really well, and we just drove down the coast for the day. Great. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, going down to some of these amazing beaches and plus the water was like a swimming pool. It's so warm and you can't bring the boat right into the beach itself, but you, where these little buoys are, you can dock and then swim in. And it was just a, a beautiful day to be out on the water, really nice landscape. And then all along the coast were these little caves that you could stop and go into and explore. Um, from there, we headed south to the southern tip of the island, the Lysimius. And this was another kind of a beach resort town, um, pretty close to Cagliari. So um, some of my friends went into Cagliari for the day. I, I did not. Um, but the, also here, the water is just surreal, very blue, very nice beaches, little beach bars. Um, there was a saltwater estuary where they had all these flamencos. Mm -hmm. And then just lots of interesting landscape with these rock formations. And I thought it was a beautiful area. Uh, before we move on, Rich, I'm curious, did you get a sense of how Sardinia is different culturally um, than the mainland? Would, would you say it's fairly similar from what you experienced? Or? There are some things that are similar, but other things that are very different. I, I think before I went, I, ex I expected it to be a lot like Sicily, and it was very different than Sicily. Um, it's one of the blue zones, heard of blue zones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of people there have very long lifespans. And there's so much more to the island to explore than I went to some little villages inland. It's quite mountainous and people live very kind of rural, rustic landscape uh, lives in the landscape there. And there's a lot of really nice agritourismos from what I've heard when I was there. It would be nice to go back and stay in some of those. <laughs>